Today, I'm going to be metal detecting around this old foundation site from a house that was built in the teens and then moved around 1920. So I'm going to be doing over here in this nice shaded area because it's pretty warm today. And it was really cool when I got here, a little fawn came up to see who I was over there. I'll show you the, the video. It took me a while to get my phone out but I got his little head peeking at me over there. So let's see what we can find. Well, I just dug up this 22 shell and I haven't found much yet. I found some fence clips, nail wire. So that's it so far. Hi everybody, I'm out here again this morning to see if I can find anything good. Right here on this side of the fence this time. Yesterday I was down in that uh, tree grove finding a lot of uh, junk and stuff. So, we think the front of the house was on that side and the back of the house is over here because we found a little trash dump over there and that's where I found uh, a cuff link and possibly an, a button or maybe it was a, also a cuff link last month or so. So I'm going to go out here today and because, you know, there was a little road here too. Um, Perhaps they came out the house, got in their vehicle or buggy or whatever, and went that way. So let's see what we can find. There are a few landmines that I have to dodge today. So hopefully there's no signal in the middle of that. <laughs> there is a very loud object down there somewhere. And I could reach it with the pinpointer all the way from the top and I dug out a piece of it which I'm not sure what this could be so it's still buzzing down there so let me see if I can find all of it it's underneath all this gravel that dad put on the road here so it's not easy to dig up well I got these three pieces of it out so far and I think I might be able to pry it out so let's see what it is to sit you down. Well, I still need to clear out some of the rocks on top of it, so I'll turn you off for a bit. All right, let's see what this thing is. What do you guys think? part of an old stove. Cool. Well, let's see what it rings up on the AT Pro. We got that piece. like there must be more pieces down in there. It was about that deep, which is about seven inches down the hole. And here is all the pieces I could find. So I was able to match these pieces here and this one here, and then this little thing. So I'm thinking this is part of a stove. Um, if you have any other ideas, please let me know. Now, when I the signal I was getting was about a 60 on top of the ground, above all the rock layers. <laughs> but this mostly tested at like a 28. But then um, parts of it, like this section, would go up to 83. So, yep, I dug it up, and here it is. I just got this 22 long rifle just near the surface here. Well, down a couple inches, I found this big piece of a pipe. It looks like it's been cut. And then this little thing and part of a square nail. So I'll clean up a little bit to see what it looks like better. Well, nothing much to this. It's, they rang up about 38 to 
42 on my AT Pro. Wonder what they were doing over there. There's the uh, foundation site for the old house. Well, I found more to it. Interesting. Wow, you guys, I just found uh, this. What kind of knife is that? Is that a butter knife? It was down about uh, two, three inches. And it was ringing up a, a 53. So let's go clean it up. I think it might say something right there, but I cannot read it. Um, so this rang up uh, 50 to 53 on the AT Pro. And it looks like it could have been silver plated at one time. But uh, yeah, interesting find. Well, I found that little knife right there, and it's not too far away from that uh, place where I dug up the trash pit, which I still need to get back to. Well, I just dug up this bullet shell. I think it says Remington 223 on it, about an inch down. Well, I got my first target of the day. I'm back up here today by the old foundation. And so I'm going to be doing this side of the fence around here and in the foundation a little bit and over there. Let's see what we can find. Well, there's something large here that's about a 40. So I'd like to see what it is. I'm just curious, guys. And it's the best tone I've heard all day. Check that out, you guys. <laughs> that is something that broke right there. <laughs> you think this was used when they moved the house? Or is this something more modern? Wow, it's like a hitch, I think. Is it a hitch on a tractor? And it broke right there. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I have an update on that piece of machinery that I found right there. Now, you see that? Apparently, when I showed Dad, he remembered that he had been cutting sagebrush here with uh, kind of like a giant lawnmower, or it's like a bush cutter. And for some reason, it backed into this hole a little bit and it caused that piece to break off. <laughs> and I guess he looked for that piece and couldn't find it. Maybe it got run over and pushed into the ground. I don't know, but the mystery has been solved. I think it probably took place around 50 years ago um, because I don't remember sagebrush being here for a very long time. Right there. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I've put the pin and tractor uh, to hook on and equipment quite a few times with dad so this looks older though all right let's see what else we can find i just found these two items about two inches down i'll have to clean that up and see if i can see any more details on it I, this may or may not be a square nail it's hard to tell well guys i am in the center of this old house site the foundation and i got a kind of nice signal here in the top layer near the grass so I thought we could look at this together and we have got wild mint growing here so it smells real good real good here kind of a spring here so that's why the ground looks muddy
Oh, something. Something kind of rusty. So this is probably going to be junk. But, let's see what it is. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> uh, part of an old can, you guys. Bummer. All right, that's it. Let's put you back in there. By the way, a little while ago, I saw the young coyote over there across the fence, and he got away before I could do anything. I've been seeing him on the trail cam two or three times a week now. He thinks he owns this area. All right, I got a decent tone right here, so let's dig this together. I think it's foil from the top of a bottle or something. Yeah, it's junk. But I've got, you know, I'm always curious what the junk is. So I'm going to clean this up and uh, look at it. Oh, it's kind of a gold lid. All right. There's another piece of it. Okay. Let's clean it up. Well, I don't see any words on this. And I don't know what it is or how old it is. Hmm. It's kind of in a weird spot where it doesn't seem like peop our family has been over there, except to plant trees. See, over there, over there where the metal detector is, there's some apple trees and other trees that have been planted here with fence to protect them from the deer. Okay, I just found a bull snake. Thankfully, it's not a rattlesnake. I mean, I almost stepped on this guy. He was under the grass. Well, get those mice, big guy. There he goes. He wants to go for the shade, I guess. All right. Nice bull snake. Well, I have detected in the foundation where the house was and all this area and then on that side where it's slanted and right in here and I haven't found anything great. Um, the first time over there, I did find one cuff link and then I think either a button or another cuff link that was uh, gold washed. And then over there is uh, the trash pit that I found all kinds of broken glass and three cream jars, the white glass. So I haven't filled in that hole yet. I'd like to explore that a little more, but there's so many roots there. So we'll see about that later. So that's it for today. Well, look who's right there. He was just up here to see me. Hi, little guy. I'm just gonna do some metal detecting. Hi, guys. Hi, little fawn. Just drove up to start metal detecting and there they are.
join me in these videos to go on some more metal detecting adventures. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching.